happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there. Think Tech Hawaii live on the street. St. Patrick's Day at the Murphy's Bar and Grill. St. Patrick's Day block party. And we are here with some revelers, some Irishmen revelers, um, and maybe only part Irish, but everyone's Irish on um, St. Patrick's Day. So please, tell us your name. I'm Sean Kelly. Hello, Sean. Tell us your name. All right. Mark, so what are you guys out here doing today for St. Patrick's Day? We're starting out in Murphy's and having a good shot before the rookies show up here at 5.30 or 0. And uh, we're going to enjoy it. Looking forward to more friends showing up and uh, getting this thing going. All right, fantastic. So what about you? This is the best warm-up to a St. Patrick's Day that you could find. Hawaii does it in a really interesting way because we are surrounded by Irish bars in this space. Wide open, sunlight, the nicest day, the nicest weather you can find, right? Exactly. Well, Beef and cabbage, everything's here. So where are you guys? I know you mentioned you've both been here for a while, but not here, um, not from here originally. Where are you from originally? I'm from Quantico, Virginia, about okay. all south of D.C. All right, Virginia, how about yourself? I lived in Laguna Beach 35 years ago. Go Hokies. Uh, okay, Go Hokies. Go Hokies. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all about reveling on St. Patrick's Day. All right, so we got Florida and we got Virginia. So I came here from New York. We've got super strong St. Patrick's Day uh, tradition. In fact, it's completely out of control. How do you guys, especially as an Irishman, how do you guys celebrate this in Virginia? We don't actually celebrate in Virginia. We have to go south to Savannah or something like that where they dye the river green and have a lot of fun. And, and otherwise, you move out here to have fun here at this block party. All right. See, well, well, how, about, how about in Florida? Southern, well, Southern California. I don't know oh, much about Florida, Florida, but it's right. similar. Sounds fun. It's very sunny and beautiful like here. So this is the only place I can find that's as good as Laguna, but it's much more festive. <laughs> All right. So I heard both of you guys saying the lead up to... So, what's going down tonight? Well, I'd tell you that it's not appropriate to mention it. Not because I'm going somewhere big, but I, uh, I'm going to run out of gas about 6.30 or 7. I'm going to have too much to drink by then, and I'll find my Uber. That's a plug, Uber, by the way. Go with it. And uh, go home nicely and appropriately. And it'll be one of those uh, weird finishes of the night, I'm sure of it. Sean taught me well. He taught me well. We know to leave around sunset because that's when it really gets ugly and you start seeing people sitting on the curb and uh, sitting in their own mess sometimes. Come on, yeah. you can say it, the rookies. Yeah. These guys don't fight. know what they're doing. So, so are you guys college boys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so, so you guys must have some stories of St. Patrick's Day past. Uh, what are some? <laughs> So if you guys if you guys are 6:30 sunset boys now, what's maybe a memory you could share of some of a St. Patrick's Day past? You got anything for us? I had a good one in Savannah. I was in the young man, the Marine Corps, and uh, got hit by a bottle of booze from two stories away. Good one though. Good blood. Good fun. Found an open keg, and the night ended wonderfully. I think I remember the girl that night. I'm not sure. Uh, what about you? You look like you're looking back and you're not 100% sure you're going to want to share. Uh, I met my wife here at Murphy's about 10 years wow, ago. Wow, really? Yeah, on St. Patrick's Day. At oh, wait a minute. This is a huge story. Please tell us what happened. Yeah, it was funny and we met and we had... Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to hear what happened. So, okay, so you went, you went out. Were you with friends? You were going out for St. Patrick's Day. So. You were... I might have been with these characters, but sure I was virtually by myself, and I broke my own rule, and I stayed after sunset, and ended up talking to a beautiful young gal, because it was 12 years ago, and uh, we ended up getting married after that. That? Mm, took about a year. It was a big night. Took about a year. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, wait, I want to hear a little more about it. So, so you guys, what happened? It was St. Patrick's Day. Oh, you just sort of walked <laughs> Well, fair enough. It's actually still a wonderful story. It was a great couple of years. It's a good run. It's a good run, baby. What else do you do with that? You know. Life's short, I mean. So fair enough. So I guess what, what might you say in terms of a St. Patrick's Day message to our viewers out there? Aaron, go bra. Live big and go large. <laughs> know your limits. Know your oh, limits. I'm yeah, I'm responsible. Would you suggest that people come on down and... Uh... Absolutely. Support Don Murphy, one of the greatest supporters of the charities and otherwise here in Hawaii. Best block party. Get down here early. Come early. Enjoy the fun. Know your limits. Hey, uh, pay no attention to that guy. Yes, we can have fun here and then be responsible. Take an Uber. Take a lift home. And, or get a ride with Jeff. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. Everybody... 
obviously this is the place to be this evening. St. Patrick's Day, downtown Hawaii, Think Tech. Mahalo and aloha.